Thank you all for coming. Yeah. How's it feel just to be obviously just back in Texas, your hometown? We were talking about on the ride over here, man. It's it's it feels like home, and we're contemplating if we should move back move back to Texas because you know once a Texan, always a Texan. I love Hawaii, I love the weather and everything, but this is home, and I always will be home. That's yeah. Obviously, you guys' home turf. You know, flying in just yesterday to Texas, we were telling people we were going to WrestleMania. They didn't know anyone of the current wrestling roster, except for you guys. They mentioned the Von Erichs, you know what I mean? So it's a household name here in Texas. How much does it mean to be back here for a show like this over Mania Weekend, no less? Man, it's the biggest honor you can, like, bestow on somebody. It's, you hear it all the time. It's, it really is humbling. You know, you, you're just it's so impressed that people still remember. It just makes you want to pour your guts out for these people. You know, we, yeah. we love them back. And like our like our grandfather did, he started the name of the Von Eric, and then, you know, my, my uncles took that to, to a, a big platform, a, a, a great places, and we want to do the same thing. And when we see this this loyal love that only comes from Texans, it's 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 awesome. It's it's beautiful, and it fuels us. It's completely God bless Texas, 100. percent When you guys get back here, and say if you have extra downtime. What's like the thing you want to do most when you're in Texas? <laughs> well, it's hard to find rivers in Dallas. We love jumping off of stuff and swimming. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, yeah. We're, uh, speed zone. Yeah, speed zone. Yeah, yeah racing a little drift track. track. Yeah, we're, we're I guess we're kind of like thrill seekers. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah. We, we love we love anything fun. I guess. But yeah, Lake Dallas is our hometown, so we, we'll go to Lake Dallas and Denton all the time and see old friends and all that and stuff. But yeah, Texas is it's the only place I don't get homesick. I got two babies too, so it sounds bad. Don't my wife say that. I am zero homesick right now, zero percent. <laughs> you guys have had an exciting last couple of years in MLW. Anything that you would tell yourself from three years ago as far as like, all right, keep this in mind, like any advice that you would bestow upon yourself from three years ago if you were to go back in time? Man, you know, the, the, you put a lot of pressure on yourself and something our, our dad told us too, but the, the, the pressure can feel unreal, but these were the, these were the cards that we were dealt. We were born Von Eriks, we were raised in locker rooms, this is all we know. And we know if we're doing our best, or if we're going out there and trying, as cheesy as it sounds, just trying our hardest, that really is, we know we're doing the right thing. And I know my brother has my back, I have his back. We're very close, we've been best friends since kids, and so doing this together, I know I know what I'm gonna get out of him, and he knows what he's gonna get out of me, so it's, I know if we're trying as hard as we can, and we're, we're doing it for them, but they're watching, you know, we, we feel like that's how we honor God, and, and using, using what he's given us. For the best, for the best of our ability, and I would say, to, I would say to us a few years ago, just let it come, you know, be patient, and uh, your destiny is going to happen, you know, and it's 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 on the way. Like we're still, we're still, we're still going up in our opinion. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, we're excited about the future. Last time I interviewed you guys, you talked about uh, working in Japan and having that kind of experience. Talk about what that was like for you, more so, and how you still adapt that. Rest of Japan uh, made us grow up really quick. You know, going over there, the crowd's not as responsive, I guess. You know, and it's uh, it they they beat the fundamentals of professional wrestling over there, and it's looked at more like a an NFL sport. You know, it's it's uh, it's different. The crowd's quiet. You got to earn you got to earn their uh, respect in a way. And then we, us being third generation wrestlers, they uh, they were a lot harder on us than most wrestlers, so they're really trying to have us, you know, quit soon. Which now we're super grateful. We're yeah. so grateful we did that. We, we needed it. We needed the. We needed it beat out of us. Any, yeah. any, you know. The, there was times though we're like, man, are we made for this. We were like 0 and 50 right now. No, <laughs> no, like I don't know if we should continue to do this, but we were on a, a building top. Any, any time we go to a venue, we go to the rooftop just to get away, get our heads together. Um, Later we found out that my dad and his, and his brothers, they all did the same thing, but we went to a rooftop and uh, we were just sitting there thinking about, man, we're doing the right thing, we're out here wrestling our own. Yeah, no, we, we don't want to dishonor the family name. But yeah, yeah. They're, yeah, they're big shoes to fill, you know, so our ex expectations on ourselves are extremely high. Well, yeah, we're, we were kind of daydreaming, so we marked our name. Like, yeah, he, uh, he got on my shoulders, we marked on the na our, our names on this brick wall. Didn't really think much of it, went out there and wrestled came back on the rooftop wasting time and on the other side of the wall, on this brick wall, we see uh, some Ke scribble. And scribble, and we look real close and it said Kevin David 1982. It was our family, and my real name's Kevin, his real name's David. And right there, that was it. That was, we knew we were exactly where we were supposed to be, even though at that time we felt like giving up the most. And so we knew, yeah, okay, I feel like right then we were just like, okay, we're gonna stick to this. Yeah, we're gonna stick to this, because we were ready to, to quit, but he never admitted it, I never admitted it to him, I'm not gonna, I'm the, we're brothers. I'm not gonna admit. Hey, I'm gonna quit. You know, I'm not gonna say it first. <laughs> you know, and, it's, and so yeah, we, we uh, that that was confirmation, and that's honestly what's fueled us this whole time. That's why we know that we're, we're here for a reason.
I didn't have a chance to talk to any other second or third generation wrestlers for advice or pick their brain on how to handle a similar situation that you guys are in. Yeah, man, uh, we did a, uh, something called the Super 8 in Philadelphia with Brian Pullman and uh, a few other guys. Um, shoot, I'm going to butcher all the names. But yeah, there, there was Brian Pullman stuck out big time. Yeah, he stuck out with the mole and the fanny pack oh, yeah. and, and all that. He's the uh, loudest character. Yeah, yeah but we, we were over there and... Um, you know, it was crazy talking to guys with all the similar, you know, similar backgrounds as us, you know, and um, a lot of them, you know, in the beginning didn't want to become wrestlers, and we, we tried that. He, we played football. Um, he played in college. I, uh, I was going to college for track and field. I was uh, a discus thrower. I was in, in Hawaii, and so that's, that was, was kind of where our, where our heads were at, but it all started when uh, Uncle Harley, Harley Race, gave us, a, gave us a call to come try to the school, and it just... It, it took then, and then uh, there were some Japanese scouts over there, and they invited us out to Japan for three months. But well, yeah, they had no idea, by the way. They just said, "Hey, you look a little bit like Fritz von Erich." <laughs> yeah, they didn't know we were von Erich. <laughs> really? Wow. Yeah. And then they said, "You're barefoot. You look, you look like Fritz von Erich." And I was like, "Yeah, that's, that's my brother Ross. I'm, we're Kevin's son." And then you're supposed to like earn the. I guess the name did come in handy there, but we're supposed to, you're supposed to earn or do this this whole camp to get a shot to Japan, and he gave us the the shot like the first three hours after he met us, and the, I. Just, Probably give us a little heat with some of the boys, but I think they brought they brought some guys later on. But that's when I realized, okay, this, this name is it's uh, so we got to do something with it. We can't There's some it. weight attached to it. hundred percent, hundred percent. What's your craziest Harley race story? Um, yeah, so yeah, I got one when I was 18 years old. Um, he said, "You think you're strong, boy?" And I was sitting in a car with my arm out the window. And I was like, I don't want to toot my own horn, but yeah, I'm not weak. And so he's like, shake he my hand. He just said the, the state record in, in discus right before this. Yeah, so I was at my like high, the like, most cocky right there. <laughs> so he shook my hand, and then I was like, it's kind of awkward and weird, and we're shaking hands for like an awkwardly like long amount of time. <laughs> so I, started, I was trying to pull out or pull away, and he grabbed my hand and pulled me out of the car. His grip was insane, but pulled me out of the car onto the ground. I don't know what he was going for for me to start crying in front of like, my girlfriend <laughs> and stuff. But, yeah, it was after I tried to play it off the best I could, and I was talking about man, if, if he wasn't so old, I would have handled it right there. But yeah, he completely annihilated me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and so respect to the champ. Respect oh, to Harley Race. Rest in peace. He's a great poker player too. Is he? Yeah. 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 He <laughs> mentally uh, destroyed him. He just took all his money. Out. Yeah. Oh, his mental warfare not just got me. But he took his money. So. <laughs> what other legends have you kind of like related to, or, or kind of like associated with? Uh, through your, through your um, I mean, we've, we've gotten to meet a lot of cool people. I know uh, growing up we had to sneak, uh, sneak w at the time, WWF VHS, as we were just talking about this, and uh, my mom didn't want us watching it and stuff. My dad didn't really, you know, didn't know. Really we make up, up fake names for the labels, like, you know, yeah. Motor Cross or something. <laughs> you know, we knock on his door like at 10 o'clock and we start watching it. We watch pretty much everything. So one night my dad caught us, and um, and he's like, you guys like this crap? And, um, and I was like, yeah, we love it. And my dad was so done with wrestling, with tragedies, everything. He was, he was understandably, he yeah, it's understandable. Bad taste. In but he saw that yeah, we were, we had a love for it. And he's like, uh, I think three days later, they, they were they were coming to Dallas, and he brought us in there. And at that time, I believe Undertaker just hung Bossman on TV, and I <laughs> believe every bit of it. So when we walked, uh, we walked backstage. My dad was walking us in, and. I saw Undertaker and I was like, I know for a fact that guy just murdered somebody. <laughs> <laughs> we were terrified. Yeah, we were terrified. Like, my, yeah, my dad, uh, my dad felt bad for us though. We were like crying and stuff. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was crazy. But then after that, yeah, we grew to love wrestling. After that, he's he's not a murderer, boss man. <laughs> it's been, it's been an up and down journey. You know? it's, it's a weird, weird twists and turns. Yeah. Any other favorite Texas wrestling legends aside from your own family, of course. Oh, man. You mentioned Undertakers, that's yeah, why I mean, yeah. Ric Flair is famous everywhere, but you know, he, had, he had such a huge role, you know, obviously the Steve Austin. Austin. Steve, Steve Austin, Austin. Yeah. yeah, he's he's a he's just a big state. That's one guy that, you know, it's the Steve Austin pop. If he's, if he's in Texas, you just want to be here just, just for the pop. And so, yeah, we love Steve Austin, too. He has a lot of history of world class with our family. And Undertaker, too, he was, um, yeah, I, I heard stories that he was going to be almost like a replacement for my Uncle Dave. He's a big, tall, red-headed guy. And uh, they look so similar, and so yeah, there was times my grandfather was, yeah, you know, thinking about that. But that's like that's where you got to start. Was in real class yeah, my grandpa gave wrestling. him his first uh, tryout at, wow. at WC. I heard him, you know, tell on a podcast, Rogan or something. But he's like, yeah, you look like uh, it was like probably a couple weeks after my Uncle David passed, and he saw this big, tall, redheaded guy, and he's like, hey, you look like my like my my son. Why don't you bring him? And they told somebody to bring him in for a tryout, and you know, the rest is history. 
Okay. So we're responsible for it. <laughs> yeah, no, I, 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 yeah, I don't mean... You know, I'm going to write that <laughs> So we... <laughs> That's funny. Do you guys have a lot of artifacts or collectibles from the world-class era or NWA era? Yeah, we, my dad's my dad's a, he's a weird dude, and so he saved like a lot of the, um, the, the, the wooden seats and stuff. We had a bench at home that we built. You know, my dad's not the, the craftiest guy. I'm more... I guess the craftsman of, of, of the family, but yeah, we built a little chair out of it and stuff, or a, a swinging chair. He still has the belt, uh, and you know, and that's, so that's like that's got a lot of nostalgia. Right, right now, though, that belt for the next few years, we actually have it in Dizengolf Center in Israel. We donated it there for the mall for people to see because they're they're bonnet crazy over there too from from the 80s. But um, as far I mean, we got like action figures and stuff like that. But there's a there is a old documentary where they go into the sportatorium. And it was really cool. They walked with my dad inside there, and you know, my dad went in. My grandfather's office was still there. It's still the same desk, and yeah, I, I, I know it brought back a lot of memories. And I really wish the sportatorium would have been a, you know, like a, a Texas landmark. So we would love to go in there and eventually work in there one day. The dream is Von Erich Barbecue, same spot, same location. Uh, you barbecue and watch wrestling. Yeah, like, I think <laughs> it's a great idea. Double whammy, right? Yeah, there. exactly. <laughs> Double whammy. That's what we thought. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you say no. <laughs> That's a goal for you guys. Any other immediate goals going forward, aside from winning more tag and gold, obviously? No, man, we're, we, uh, it's, you know, you never know with, with what, what my dad and his fa or the family has gone through. You know, li life is precious, family is precious. So we really, um, we, in the beginning of our careers, we were shooting just to, to, yeah, to get as far as we can, as fast as we can. And now we know that, you know, timing, it's not in our hands. And so, as far as, as we're, we're making the most, we're trying to live in the moment and actually live in the moment. Like right now, I'm not thinking about what's going to happen after this, tomorrow, or the next day. Right now, I'm here with my brother. We're sitting, front, we're sitting, having a nice conversation with you guys. We are literally in the moment. That, that's what we kind of remind each other to do all the time because you know that life is a bunch of moments and you know they pass, they they come and go. So just try to make the most of each moment. And yeah, I'm here with you guys. This is it right now. This is I'm, that's that's my plans right now. Let's say. How hard was it to develop that kind of mentality? Uh, a lot of failures and I'm kind of an anxiety stressed out person and so yeah I can be I can be and so I like, just realized it wasn't healthy for me to like, like to plan everything out and it's uh, I could just tell it was it was weighing on my body and now I'm a dad and I want my son to you know not when he thinks of his dad a guy pulling his hair out and freaking out <laughs> about the littlest thing so yeah kids have helped too it, was, it was felt like so much pressure but in a way that I was like okay well I got to do something about it and also in, in Japan you know we had we had a, this big stint in Japan, and so we're, at the time we were kind of young, we are going through it, and we are just like, so who are you supposed to oh, this is stressful, you know, this is, uh, you know, uh, we we're getting beat up, all this stuff, but then once we left and came back, we're like, we had all these great memories, and we're like, yeah. yeah, that was fun, this was fun, like, like, hey, why don't we just go through everything we're about to do with a, like, a more joyful positive, heart, yeah, positive yeah. attitude. Yeah. They, it, was, it was so long and grueling at the time, three months, and, I was uh, fresh out of high school. I was in the puppy love stage with my girlfriend. I missed my mom and dad. I was super homesick, all that. But when I came home, I was you know, after two weeks, I'm like, oh, man, this, this, this kind of suck. It doesn't suck, but I was like, man, I, I missed, I, I missed Japan already. But when we came back, we tried to make the most of it, and it felt like in it felt like a long, spread out thing. But when you look back, it you only remember bits and pieces. It went by like that. Yeah, it went by like that. I get it. And so yeah, we just try to think of everything in highlight reels. You know? Do it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Strength will play in the back. <laughs> yeah. <they're doing> that. <laughs> right. Could we see you guys return to Japan at some point? A hundred percent. Hopefully. Yes. Yeah. I mean, Japan is always going to have a special place in our heart. You know. So we just don't know for which company. Pro Wrestling knows. Yeah. We. Yeah. We're. We have we're nothing but grateful for everything they've they've done for us. They. Uh, they gave us our start, and I'm glad the way they did it. At the time it was hard, but they. Uh, they definitely like made us respect wrestling completely, and uh, taken us taken us in with. Uh, you know, we were nobodies at the time. We just had the the name, and so it was it was uh, it was a huge honor. And to see what wrestlers do to, to get to Japan one day, like, they they worked their butts off, and so I just saw what an honor it was that we got to go so soon, and it really was it was awesome. And we would definitely go back either pressing them or or wherever, as long as we're back in Japan, it's it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Ron, how does it feel being an uncle? Oh, that's great. Well, I'm actually an uncle like seven or eight times over now. I got two <laughs> sisters, but no, no, this one actually felt a little different, you know. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. So my kid like like loves him more than me though. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I can spoil him, you know, we have good fun. Yeah. We're always wrestling around. So they're always fighting. It's fun. I I'm gonna be the uncle I never had, you know, in a right. way, you know. So 100%. Try to, you know, spoil him as much as I can, you know, do fun stuff. 
if uh, if our uh, cause my sister my sister both my sisters have you know a ton of kids like a boatload of them so we we're uh, we, we if, if we ever want to guilt trip the kids uh, if like not want to hang out because we love hanging out with them we work out with our nephews they're getting into high school football constantly and we'll, we'll remind them like you know we didn't have uncles growing up so we, if you guys want to you know time goes by fast and you try to guilt trip them them hang out with us yeah. works every time yeah <laughs> if you keep going then you start getting sad and it's just a <laughs> yeah. really depressing day yeah. <laughs> What you want to wrestle with MLW in the states? Any other cities, or parts of the country you want to go to with MLW? Uh, we love Texas, but I mean, San Antonio would be a great place to go to. There's a there's a few places in Texas, and um, I know the big cities. The big cities are awesome, but there's a lot of good small country towns out there, especially in Texas. That um, we did a we did a show in uh, Detroit, Texas. It was a uh, yeah. I remember I remember read the paper. Yeah, not Michigan. Yeah, it was Detroit, <laughs> Texas, and it was one of the cool. We did a we went and talked to the elementary, the high school, and the, uh, the middle school all in one night. And the next day we went and wrestled, and every single kid we talked to showed up. It was it was like a super hot crowd, and that's something that uh, we definitely want to keep doing. We want to do that in the future too, because those little those little towns they're neglected. You know, there's not that much entertainment. And, Go out there and promote it well. They they will come, you know. And those are you know they're good Von Eric fans, good Texans. But I'm sure there's good cities like that. Right? Love good your shirt. Shirt. Yeah, it's it's sure. <laughs> been waiting two years to wear this. Yeah, I'm getting distracted during my questions. My dad looks like Jack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know yeah, that's yeah. not Photoshop. No, yeah, he, he got in great shape. It's we crazy. we didn't believe it, but uh, when we were going to Israel. Um, when he confirmed the match, and I could tell he wanted to do it because he immediately said no, and then we didn't say anything to encourage it, and he just kept, you know what, maybe I'll do it, you know, and his he had talked himself into it, but then he's like, I remember the day he said, I need to start working out, and it was two or three months, every every morning I'd go to their house, he's over there doing curls, upside down push-ups, and it's crazy, and he was, he lost a lot of weight, but he came right back. Man, you're still Kevin Von Eric under yeah, there. Yeah, <laughs> it was crazy seeing him, yeah, it, it, was, it was nuts. What's one of your favorite dad's favorite matches going back and watching his stuff? Well, for for us, for you guys, yeah, yeah. Um, I love all the stuff with Chris Adams. I, I think they had some uh, good heat. I know that when Chris Adams turned heel and and uh, my dad took a yeah he took a chair in the gut. There's people crying and stuff, and that that was that was for me. That's what that's what impacted me the most. But um, and anything with Gino Hernandez, Gino Hernandez, Hernandez yeah, was, okay, obviously the free birds are great. Yeah, yeah, the free birds of course. But yeah, Gino Hernandez too. My dad was just telling us he was. Uh, he thought he was one of the best the heels in professional wrestling because there was no gimmick or anything. That was him. He would throw like legit tantrums on the ground and bang his hand and feet on the ground. He'd kick a car that didn't work. His, yeah, he said he'd drive in the parking lot. He started crying because his car wouldn't start. He started kicking the tire and he threw a tantrum. And then my grandfather knew. He was like, we need this guy. Like, we we got to get yeah. this guy right. <laughs> yeah. He was made for it. He was made for it. Yeah. Right, we got time for one more. So based off of like everything you talked about, like going on top of buildings and just taking time for yourself, before matches, what else do you like to do to prep for matches? And also, to when you're back home here in Texas, what is it something that you like to eat? Man, there's a that Louis, there's a, I think it's called small. I know I, I went right to the the eating part. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely barbecue sticks out for me. Yeah, right. there's a place in Louisville. Uh, I think it's called Small Town Small House Barbecue. The names changed quite a few times, but that that's where we would go after PB football games and stuff. And it's some of the best. Uh, but yeah, the best like, barbecue yeah, we've ever had. You know, we get we get usually get like two pounds of chopped beef and then we just get some sandwich buns. What was the, the first part? What you said, sorry. Oh, what, the is what is something else that you like to do besides sitting on top of the building? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, just now, like no matter where what venue we're at, we're always I don't know. We're always just walking around. Like we have to get out of the place and like almost like circle it or something. Yeah, we did something like this special. You make it sound like a like a <laughs> no. religious thing. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Yeah, sorry. No, no, but we we'll do a thing called the Stone of Remembrance, and we'll grab a um, if it's something special like this. Like we're back in Texas, and last time we not coming to Texas, we're pretty devastated that we had to miss this, the miss the miss Texas of all places. Um, if it's a special moment, we'll pick up a rock and you write the date on it. If, if you don't write the date on it, now I have a huge jug of rocks in the beginning of my career when something special would happen. Well, you know, just a reminder. Yeah, right? Just a reminder. This is a special time. Save, save, save something. If it's like a washer from a screw or something like that, just to look back on this. And yeah, we have a jar full of just weird, yeah, like little <laughs> figurines, or like a yeah. little ribbon, just random stuff. But, yeah. But you look at it and it's just like you know, there's a big jar of victories, you know, that we've experienced and stuff. You know, so that's a good idea. It's weird. Yeah. It's weird, but that's. Cool. <laughs> well, thanks, guys. Thank you. Right on, you guys. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. the time. Thank you, guys. Thank you all for coming. Yeah.